Hello, welcome to my Facebook Live. Today is Tuesday, August 15th. And today I am sharing a kit with you all. So if you are joining, say hello. And I am going to pull up my Facebook Live on my laptop. so that I can see your comments. So just give me a second. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, so it looks like a couple people are joining. So I posted in my group the ink pad yesterday, um, the option between two kits that I had. Um, I actually have more kits, however, um, the other kits are not orderable right now, so I didn't want to post something that you couldn't order. So, hi Pam. Um, so the options were between the Kaleidoscope kit and the new um, tag kit. Hey Lori. So this is the festive tags kit. So this is the newest kit um, that has been released. So this one has been released this month. So, um, um, so I put it out there for a vote yesterday and this one is the one that had a lot of votes. So so this is the one I'm going to share today. So I'm going to go ahead and start. If you have questions, post them in the comments. Um, um, I try to share um, from the viewpoint um, of, of new viewers, um, maybe people that have never seen the kits. Um, but I'm really familiar with them. So sometimes, you know, I might leave out some pretty obvious things so don't think any question is stupid okay because there might be somebody out there watching that's totally afraid to ask a question so no question is stupid so ask away um, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start start um, I'm gonna share the kit as is and then I'm gonna show some other ways to use it so, for some more avid crafters okay so if you watched my Facebook live a couple weeks ago um, you saw how I shared um, um, I forget what it was called it was called like the berry I don't know it was a really cute kit um, I can't think of what it's called right now but it was really cute um, so I did the kit as it was and then I did about three cards like really stepped up so hey Darla thanks for joining us Cool, Darla's having lunch with us, so thanks for joining. Um, so this is the newest um, kit. It's a Christmas tag kit. I like it because it's not traditional Christmas colors. And obviously I'm gonna show you ways to make it into a card. Um, so if you're not like a tag person, I'm gonna show you how to make it into cards. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, if you've never seen the kits, they come in these awesome boxes which um, if you're a container person and you don't have enough containers already, um, these boxes um, are great to keep if you don't already have a million of them. Um, they're great for storing um, random projects that you might have in your craft room. Um, they're a great size. Um, if you have grandkids maybe that come over and play with stuff, um, they could store like their little projects in those. Um, maybe, um, I'm trying to think, like if you were going to do like a picnic or something, these might be something that you could put little projects in for that or put little games in. Um, they are recyclable, so... Um, you know, that's really nice if you use them up for a while and then they get like really banged up and stuff, then you just throw them in the recycling bin. Um, you can color on them. Um, so they're the same size as our paper pumpkin boxes, except they're this craft color. Um, 
So I love these boxes. Okay, so the kit collection, um, they all look like this. And then on the back, they have the name of the kit. Okay. So, hey, Mary Bell, thanks for joining us. We're just getting started. So with all the kits, they'll have the instructions here. They'll have a full um, photograph of the entire kit as assembled on the front. And inside they have the full step-by-step um, -step instructions done with photographs. They do it with photographs so that this can be done in any, um, in any of the countries. Okay, um, so that's why they don't have it in a language. Um, they have a ruler over here, okay, in centimeters and in inches. Um, and then they tell you here, um, I mean, they don't tell you, they tell you with photos, you know, where to put the embellishments, where to put the twine, um, how much, here they tell you how much twine to cut off. Um, 21 centimeters or 8, eight and 1 fourth inches. Um, they tell you exactly where to put the dimensionals. Okay, so this is for people that have never crafted before and are totally clueless, need to be watched totally through this. Okay, um, so, so that's the instructions. Okay. Um, back here they'll put all the kit contents, everything that comes in the kit. So for those people that want to make sure that they have all the pieces, um, you know, or maybe there's people that just, you know, like to look and see what they have. They don't actually like to put it together. Um, they could go through and do that. Um, and then they also have the coordinating colors. Now this is good for the more avid crafters so that you can go into your current craft supply or maybe you're shopping to see what you need to get to coordinate with this kit and you can go in and get some other supplies to help you um, make these a little fancier. So I've gone in and pulled some cardstock um, out of my cardstock supply um, to help me. I'm gonna pull this up a little. Hold on. Let me see here. Okay, there we go. So that um when I step these up a bit. So we have um, basic black, flirty flamingo, garden green, lost lagoon, pool party, real red, gold, and white. I didn't pull all of those. Um, I pulled the colors that I wanted, okay? Um, and then what I pulled additionally was I pulled a sentiment set, okay? A Christmas set. Well, this is not just Christmas, but very best occasions. It has some Christmas in it um, because in this um, kit, it looks like it just has some stickers um, for the sentiments. It, this one doesn't have any stamping in it. Um, so I pulled this out um, just, just to get started. Okay. So um, that's how we're going to get started. Just like I dropped something. Okay, so a reminder, um, most of the kits, I think all of the kits, are on sale this month, um, up to 30%, um, even some of the ones that are not available. Um, I, they show unavailable, that's because they, are, they have ordered more, um, they just haven't arrived. So um, they haven't said if they're going to arrive before the end of the month or not. Um, so I don't think Stampin' Up! knows if they will or not. So um, They always come with everything they need except for scissors. So we have twine, we have dimensionals, we have these little gold embellishments. The thing I like about the kits is they often come with different embellishments than you can get out of the catalog. Um, so these are our little tag pieces here. Okay, and I'm going to move this box. 
Um, here are some of our tags here. Uh, more of our tags. And more of our tags here. Okay. And then these are our stickers. And whenever they do include stickers, they're pretty heavy duty stickers. Um, these are really thick. Um, so they're kind of, um, they're kind of like that. They feel kind of like that. They're not, um, they're like kind of like cardboard stickers. So, um, and then this is just a piece of cardboard. Some people like to keep this, um, it's like chipboard. So if you like to do things with chipboard, you can keep this. It's a good piece of chipboard. Um, I have a friend who has one of those binding machines to make notebooks. Um, so I save these for her. Um, also, if you do any kind of um, like coasters or anything with chipboard, this is perfect for that to keep that. So, hey, Barbara, thanks for joining us. We're just getting started so you didn't miss anything. So I'm just going to make a couple of these tags just so you can see how they go together. Um, so these are double layered tags. Um, so that's kind of fun. Um, so when I say double layered, um, they have like a bigger tag in the back. So I'm going to make one. I'm going to make this one here. Um, so I'm going to start. I'm going to make this joy right here. Okay. So they have the smaller tag in the front and the larger one in the back. Okay. So I guess I'll set this here. I don't know that you can see it all the way back there, but okay. All right. So we're going to do that one. And, um, I think that I'll do, I'll do this one here and then I'll do this one on the end. Okay, so then I'm going to punch this out. Now, one of the things I like to do is just punch all of my pieces out and get kind of this trash out of the way. I call this trash, but I recycle everything. Um, so, and one of the other things that I like to do is I put this all together and I actually punch it all out together so it makes it go even faster. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can do them one at a time. But I also do my paper pumpkins this way. Um, and then I'm all I'm left with is my, my pieces. Now, if it's really small pieces, I won't do this because I don't want to lose them. But um, um, I encourage, like when I have all my gals come for my paper pumpkin night to do this. Um, and a lot of them get all of their cards done in that one evening. So, um, which is kind of, kind of the point of our paper pumpkin night. So if you're not familiar with our paper pumpkin night, we meet the last Monday of the month. We meet at the Dion's on Academy, Academy and Wyoming. And we meet and we have dinner and we put our paper pumpkin kits together and then I show them alternative projects um, that they can make with the kits as well. So, um, and I started doing that because there were so many people that said that they were getting the paper pumpkin kits and they were just stacking up. So it's a fun way to get together and that doesn't happen. So then I have all this scrap here that can just go right into the recycling bin. All right, and then I have these. And if I was going to just make these tags, make all of these just tags as the kit shows, I would stack them up. Um, just um, onto the tags that they're going to go on. But since I'm going to do all kinds of different things, I'm just um, punching all of these out. So... Okay, so we are going to make one of these and one of those. And I need the Christmas tree for one. Let's 
them in the right here. And I need the joy and I need a gold tag here on this one. And for this one, I need the one with the blue. Okay, and then we'll poke the little circles out. So do you all like to make your own tags at Christmas time? Or do you just buy the little stick tags? Do you make tags out of the wrapping paper? Are you the family that doesn't put tags so that nobody tries to get open presents or guess what they are? How does your family do tags? Nobody does tags at all? Let's see, I think my family did the little sticker tags. Um, now that it's just me and Doug, I like to make my tags. Okay. All right. So I've got the pieces here. These are super simple tags. If you bought this kit, you could start on your tags now. You could have them ready to go, and then all you'd have to do is find wrapping paper that matches. And I'm sure that wrapping paper is already out now. If you started now, you'd, you'd be set. Darla? You have time. You could do it every day on your lunch break. You don't have kids at home anymore. No excuses. Okay. Okay. So then we're just going to put our little stickers in here. So these are pretty heavy duty stickers. So um, I'm not too worried about peeling them off and breaking. Um, that's the nice thing about Stampin' Up. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm a little anal, so I'm gonna put this right in the middle to make sure, and make sure it's straight. Okay, and then I am gonna put dimensionals on the back of this. And I remember it showed me to put three. I'm gonna put one there. And I'll put one right there. Uh, one of the things I love about the kits is, for some reason, their dimensionals are thicker. I'm not sure why, but they are, and I love that. Okay. And we're going to stick that on there. And then you have two choices. You can just tie this on there and leave it loose. Or you can actually stick it on with dimensionals. You could you could leave it on there. Um, if, if you don't want it to move around, you can put it on there with dimensionals or you can leave it loose. Okay. Um, I, um, I think, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little OCD and I kind of want to, don't want it to move, but I'm just going to tie it on there. I'm going to go for it. So this is 18 inches. Um, um, oh, eight inches, eight, eight and one fourth, eight and one fourth, 21 centimeters. Sometimes they, they are very generous with the, um, twine. I'm not sure this is not looking like they're, they're extremely generous. So I'm thinking I might actually measure it. Um, because I want to make sure that I have enough, um, enough. Okay. So, um, if you wanted to, you could go through this and just measure a whole bunch to begin with. 
but because like I said I'm not sure if I'm gonna make all tabs with this so I'm just gonna cut two right now okay so if you sat down and and did this start to finish I bet you you could get all these tags done in an hour okay um, If I sat here and wasn't talking to you all, you figure I started I don't know, like 10 minutes ago. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? You think these are pretty quick? You think they're cute? I don't know. I think they're pretty cute. Okay, so there's one. And this one, all we're going to do is we're going to take the Noella up here. We're going to stick that down on the bottom. Well, you know it would be really fun? You could have a girls' night, and you could... Um, get a couple of these kits, have a girls night, you could include wine or not, it's up to you, and you could have little challenges and see who could do different tags, have little challenges and see who could get them done first. That would be fun. That might be a great idea, I might have to do that. Um, and then you'd have a great time with your friends and everyone would leave with some gift tags. I think that's a great idea. You guys will have to let me know if any of you try that. Unless, unless you come to mine. If you want to come to mine, let me know. I'll invite you. Since you're all my friends anyway, so. Okay, and then we got to embellish them. This is my favorite part. Okay. So put one there. 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 There you go. There's two tags. That was like 10 minutes. Okay. All right. So what if you don't want to do tags? Or maybe you don't have that many people to buy gifts for and you just need a few. Um, or maybe you want to make some tags and then you want to have some matching gift cards or, or matching cards. Um, not gift cards, matching cards. So, um, I have a card base here, which worked out perfectly. So, <laughs> I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to make two or three cards. We'll see what I'm inspired to do. Okay. Um, and I love pool party and red together. So, I'm going to do that. And one of the things that I loved here was this black and white. Okay, so um, let me see here though. I'm thinking that might look better on that. Um, I do like pink and red. Let's see. I don't know. You guys, um, you guys shout out if you, if you, there's something. So I'm not following along on this anymore. Okay. I'm just doing my own thing, which means that if, if I might be left over with some other different things besides this. Okay. So, which is okay. Um, but however, I do really like, <laughs> I do really like that tag down there, but, um, that one's pretty. 
How is that one go? That one's this one. This one with the flower. This one's got the pink and Okay, I like that. Something like that. Okay, and then I have this stamp set. Mm. That I thought. Sorry guys, <laughs> I hope this isn't boring for you guys. Um, okay. I like this one, but it, it won't fit on it won't fit this way. And this one won't fit that way. And that one. And this one will. And I forgot ink. Hold on. And we'll do. Um, um, let's see, garden glue. This one I'm going to stamp. Let's see. Let me see if. Okay, now I'm second guessing myself here. All right, sorry guys. Here. I really like this one on here, and I think I'm going to. Mm. Okay, I don't really like this saying, so I don't want to use that one. Okay, I think this will fit on that one. Okay. So this one, I need to cut the back to fit the card. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it down to four. Okay, so that's four by five and a fourth.
And then um, the back needs to be embossed. So I'm going to go emboss it with something really quick and I'll be right back. So I embossed it with the um, the music notes um, background, okay, because that's a good one for Christmas. So I'm going to put that down. Okay. And then because... I emboss the background. I like to use dimensionals whenever I emboss the background and put something down. Um, watching my time. dimensionals on this flower piece here hey Diana thanks for joining us okay and I'm gonna have it kind of going off to the side like that and then I know you're probably wondering what I decided um, for words um, and I decided um, to do Merry Christmas um, just making sure I'm not missing any words here so Merry So there's that, and then I'm going to use my little Wink of Stella, because I've been using this a lot the mm -hmm. last couple days. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm just going to put it on my flower, I guess. Hard to see the Wink of Stella, but so there's one card. Okay. Um, okay. And let's do one more. Um, so I have um, let's see here. How much time do I have? Let me see. I'm going to do two more really quick. So I'm going to do that one. And I'm going to do I did tr traditional colors there, so let me do this pink one first. Okay. Mm. Sorry, I know I'm quiet. I try not to be. I try not to be so quiet, but. So I'm probably going to emboss this background, but first I want to figure out what I'm going to do. So. Let's see here. Like that. Ah. I like that. Oh, I like this one too, though. That's cute. Let's see. Uh, this one, we, we could... <laughs>
do something like this. Okay. And this one. Let's see here. I'm trying to figure out the colors. So let's go back to this. And I think that um I guess we could do flirty flamingo. Except that no, oh, I have that right here. Okay. All right. So for this one, stamp that on there. This paper. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I forgot I was going to try something, so I can try it on this one. I just have to find one thing. Okay. Alright. Um, okay. I may have to do the other card. Um, let's see here. Hold on. <laughs> I have things going on in my head, I swear. Let's see here. Okay. Um, I don't have the embossing folder I wish I had. Um, let's see here. Mm, that's okay. So let's take this. Um, okay. I mean, I, okay, let's see. Sorry, guys, I'm thinking inside my head. I have an embossing folder. It's a new embossing folder. It would be a sneak peek. Um, all of you have probably seen it, um, but it's in the car, and the car is not here right now. It's the snowflake one, um, and I would do it on the back of this. Um, and I'm trying to think. There, I don't think there's another snowflake one. Um, um, but that's okay. Um, it's probably better that I don't do that. So I am just going to glue this down. Um, cause I am going to make a shaker card is what I'm going to do with this. Um, so stick around. If I'm boring you, um, you won't be bored long. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to punch these circles out cause otherwise it's going to look stupid if I don't. Okay. Um, so and I'm going to lay these down flat. Okay. Alright. Uh, polka, polka dots probably would have worked. Um, flat will be good. It's, it's going to be flat because that's what it is. And, and now I'm putting this on crooked. Let's see here. I'm trying to think in my head if I should even um, emboss it because I don't know if that will mess with the what I'm going to fill it with but like I don't know if it'll make it shake funny but we're just going to do this. I'm wondering if I should cut those off. Um, okay, well, I'm going to put this flat. I'm putting all these flat because I'm going to make it a shaker card. I don't really want to lose my sh shaker ingredients inside. Um, or like behind. So really no no need for that okay um, 
So I just got to decide if I want to take the tag off or not. Take this part off. I can't decide. Should I cut this off? Like that. And move this down more? Or should I just leave it? And maybe... Keep the gold tag top and trim from the bottom if you want it shorter. I don't necessarily want it shorter. I just don't know if that looks silly. But I think it's fine on here. I think it's fine just the way it is. I'm just going to leave it because I kind of want everyone to know that it's the tag on there. Okay? Okay. Alright. Okay, let's just do this. Okay. So there's that. Okay. So, um, I'm... I'm not trying to make this a difficult card. I just can't make up my mind. Which, if you guys know me, that's not new. So, um, and I'm going to put a little glue right here. Just because, like I said, I don't want, I don't want to create um, places for my shakers to hide. I, I want them to shake where you can see them. Okay? So. Alrighty. Okay, so we're going to put that down. Okay. Now, some of you have seen these shaker cards before, and some of you probably haven't. Um, but I had this sequence sitting here on my desk, and I thought, ah, this would be a great idea to show with the tags on a card. So, okay, so I have my card base here, okay, um, this is called like a, a faux shaker card, okay, so those that have come to my card classes for a while, you've seen this before, these are our clear envelopes, these are in the catalog, they're in the back by the envelopes, um, they're the clear envelopes, okay, oh, I just got glue on that, hold on, I gotta get another one. Okay, so we're going to take this, it's got a flap here and it's got a seal, we're going to take that, Ugh, I've got glue on my hands, that's the problem. Okay. And we're going to put the card in there, okay, so that the flap's going towards the back, and we are going to put it all the way to the corner. And there's going to be some excess, right? Because this is designed for a card, a full-size card. And this is not a full-size card, okay? And then I have some sequins here. These are the loose silver sequins. These are in the catalog. They are on page, I have it right here because I was going to show you, page 139. They're right here. This is a great page for if you like to make shaker cards or make um, put some stuff in your cards. It's um, decoration. I'm going to cough here in a second. Sorry. <coughs> okay, so these are kind of like snow color. Okay, so I'm going to take some of these and I'm going to just drop some in here. Okay. This is where I wasn't sure if I put texture on the card if they would kind of shake appropriately. But, so I'm going to put those in there. Be generous with them. If you put too little, and they don't shake right, then it's kind of a waste, right? So if you're going to do it, make sure it works right, okay? So put those in there. Make sure that your card stays down to that corner. Peel this off. Make sure you cover these up so they don't spill all over the place. And then you're going to bring this in and peel that off and bring that down, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your tear tape, let me move this here, and then bring another piece and put it right under here, like so.
and bring this piece down. So that on your front panel, you have a shaker card. Okay. So then we will take this and make sure your card opens correctly. And we will put more of our tear tape on here so that we can put it on our front panel. So that we took our tags here, or our tag, little tags. And we took that little snowman and we made him into a card. And if you were gonna give this, you know, as a gift or whatever, you know, you could, you'd have the card with the matching tag. Um, again, if you don't like tags, but you like the kit, you can make them all into all cards. Um, so. And then I will, um, make that last card. I will make it and I will post it when I post all the cards. Okay, because I'm out of time. Um, and if any of you have this kit, I know Pam said she was creating along with me. If you're making, if you're creating your, um, if you're creating tags along or you have the kit at home and you end up putting some together, Post them in my group, the ink pad, and share with me what you've made. Okay? I'd love to see it. I know everyone else would. So, so there you go. So, we have some cards, and we have some tags out of that kit. Okay? So, I hope you enjoyed those. Um, I did want to share, I won't be live next week. I am going to Las Vegas for the Stampin' Up! Backstage Leadership Conference. Um, so I won't be live next week, but there is one more Tuesday in the month. So I will be featuring another kit. Um, I think I'll feature the Kaleidoscope kit, um, as long as it's not on back order um, that week. So that was the kit that didn't win um, this week. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, reach out. Um, share your projects and thanks for joining me today guys okay um, take care and I'll talk to you soon bye